I am a collector of books that really tell us about our history. Very often these books are buried in rare book libraries. So my habit has been to buy things and, and put them on display so people see them. I came from a family that was not college educated. My parents didn't graduate from high school either. And I really think my ability to come from relatively modest circumstances to where I am today is because of my love of reading books. And this is the first book ever printed in the United States. It was a prayer book. It's the Bay Psalms book, of which there are only 11 extant copies. I was very fortunate to be able to buy one of the copies. The Puritans came over here for religious freedom. And so it's not surprising that the first book that they would print is a religious book. It was the prayer book that they would be able to use on a regular basis. You can see it was amateurishly done. A lot of uh, misspellings, a lot of misprintings that probably reflect the fact that they were not accomplished printers in those days. Early Bibles tell us a lot about American history. The first Bible ever printed in the United States, interestingly, was not a Bible printed in English. The Eliot Bible was put into the Algonquin language. There was a Reverend John Eliot, and he decided that it would be a good idea to proselytize and convert Algonquin Indians. The Algonquins had an oral language, and they didn't have a written language. But Reverend Eliot learned the oral language. He then figured out how to put it into written language, and then figured out how to teach the Algonquins to read the written language. So quite an intellectual feat. And there was no doubt that uh, John Eliot and the others who put it together thought they were getting to heaven for doing what they thought was a great thing. The Revolutionary War uh, was a period of time when there was a lot of deprivation. There was a shortage of Bibles. Bibles have been destroyed, things have been stolen. Robert Aiken decided it would be a good idea to actually print a Bible that people could have in English. But it wasn't legal to do because he wasn't authorized by the King of England to print the King James Version of the Bible. But he really wasn't worried about that at the time. He made sure it was printed and disseminated throughout the United States. People really wanted to have it because the Bible was their way to communicate with God and it was their way to observe life and religion in the way they thought was appropriate. I am from Maryland, and Maryland was uh, the state where uh, the Catholics were uh, really dominant in the early days, and in fact, uh, that was a state that was really set up so Catholics could have a place to live here. This was the first Catholic Bible printed in the United States. These Bibles really reflect the fact that there was diversity in our country in the beginning. Printed in Germantown, 1776. There were people who wanted Bibles in German, English Bibles, Bibles in Hebrew. Jewish people, while they were a very small percentage of our population, they were very concerned about keeping their religious traditions. They really wanted to have Bibles that were in the language that they could understand. My hope is that if people see these Bibles, they will say, let me go back and learn a little bit more about religion in the early days of our country, learn a little bit more about how they lived in those days and no book probably does more to tell us about our history than the Bible.